In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the Chaotic Top Hat in Dungeon Quest, so make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you haven't yet, like the video, but let's get into how to get the item. First, you need to collect all of the gems, so to collect them you just need to touch them, but you have to do it in a specific order, so I'll be showing that order, and it takes a little while to walk to all of the places since the walking speed seems a little bit slower in Dungeon Quest, or while well, there's no sprint option. So I might just speed this up, but the first one is the red one, so just go exactly where I'm going and collect that gem. If you do this out of order, then it's not gonna work. So yeah, just go where I'm going, and I'm gonna speed this up so that this part of the video isn't like 10 or 20 minutes long. Oh yeah, also, to collect the gem, you just have to touch it. It won't really do anything. Some of them become transparent for some reason, but I think you don't want to do that. Just like, touch the gems in order. It doesn't even make a sound or anything. So the order you have to get the gems in is red, yellow, blue, cyan, white, purple, green, but the white gem looks kinda gray, and the blue gem looks kinda purple, but the purple gem looks really purple. The last gem is the green gem, and this is the one that's only kind of hard to get, so you want to go through here, and then there's the secret tunnel. I remember there used to be this a long time ago, and I was barely able to see inside and I did a video on it, but that was a long time ago. Anyways, once you're in here, touch this teleporter thing, and then you have to do the obby up to, like, the train tracks area. So it's actually not too hard. They make it so that you jump normally, and I think you walk normally in this obby. It would be easier if you don't have your weapon equipped, so it doesn't, like, do a trail thing if you have any trails on it. Or you're not equipping the weapons at all, so that the weapon isn't, like, kind of blocking your view a little bit. But yeah, you just want to go there, and then go on this crystal and then go on this thing, and then go on the next platform, and keep going to the next platform on this part. And I'm pretty sure the train tracks are close, and then on this one, you just want to jump to the next bar thing. Like, go on that one, and this one, and then that one, and that one, and then you're good. So there's only one more jump you have to make, and then you're going to be able to get the green gem. So just try to make this a jump, it is a little far though, but you should be able to make it. And also like, I don't know if you can fall through that area, but I'm not gonna try that, cause I don't wanna have to redo this entire obby. But just go over to this area, you can actually walk through this wall, and then there is going to be the green gem right here, and then you can just touch that to claim it. After you get that, literally just like jump down from there, and then go to this area, so you can go back to the tunnel and then go outside of the tunnel again. So now you want to stand exactly where I am standing, so you can get here by going out of the tunnel, and then going right up on this mountain, and I'll just zoom in so you can see like I'm standing exactly in between these two rocks, and I'll zoom out a little bit more. But if you're standing here, then you can see all of the lanterns, so there are some lanterns that are flashing, and you need to keep track of them. You can see on the right side there are three, and then on the left side there are two. So you have five lanterns, and I suggest like using something to record them, because like the first time some of them will flash, and then that's the first number. So like for example, for me, two of them flashed the first time, then the second time I think three flashed, but each time is like how many they flash. So the first time two flash, so two, the second time three flash, so three, and then you need to count for all six times, and then in between them there's like a 
10 a second to pause between when they light up again. So like use something to record it maybe. Like if you look up OBS on Google, then there's like the OBS recording software, which is what I'm using right now. But there are a lot of other programs you can use to record stuff. It's way easier whenever you record it though. If you don't want to, then you can just like, uh, look at it many, many times. You're probably going to have to spend a few minutes doing this, but if you record it, then you only need to look at it once. My code was actually 432443, but I took a screenshot of it whenever I had four and circled all five of them and the fifth one isn't on. But yeah, those are all of them. So look there whenever you're doing this. Now you gotta go over to the keypad and enter your code. So go down from there and everyone is going to have a different code, I think. So you're gonna have to do that yourself. That's why I explained how to do it, but then just like go down from over on that mountain go past the spawn area go past the cell area and you're gonna have to go over to your keypad so just like write the number down somewhere make sure you're keeping track of what the number is so that you can write it here on the keypad thing but once you're over at the keypad you're gonna have to type in your number mine is 432443 so 432443 and then you press that, and if you did the right one, then it's gonna do that. And uh, it said teleport failed due to unexpected error. Why does it do that sometimes when it goes to teleport? I might have to rejoin and try this again. What, now it's doing it again? Teleport failed a second? Okay, it's literally glitching. Okay, well now it's broken. It didn't teleport me twice, and now the code won't even work. I had to use a different code. But anyways, after you do that, it's supposed to teleport you somewhere and then this is how it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna have to explain this because it literally won't work for me. I can't even teleport there. It teleport failed twice in a row and now it's not even working whenever I do the code. But anyways, so after you die from the boss, you're going to have to redo the code and I'm not entirely sure if you have to like get all the gems again if you're in a different server. So just like join the same server again. It's best to have one of your friends in that server so you can just keep rejoining if the gems reset after, which I think they might. But if you're in the same server, then the gems aren't going to reset. You just have to do the code thing again. So there's going to be like a small obby thing you have to do. And then whenever you're actually at the boss, the boss is going to be able to heal and you're just going to have to fight the boss. So the boss is going to heal every 12 attacks and then there are like many different patterns that it does. So you're going to have to attempt this a few times and after every time you die, again, you're going to have to redo this. You're going to have to get a new code. So this is definitely going to be very time consuming and I should have been to the boss about five times now because it keeps doing this. But... Yeah, I guess to so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more Roblox event videos, like the video, join the Discord server linked in the description, follow my Twitter at Teleanthric, and use star code Teleanthric to support my channel. But I'll see you all in the next video. Sorry I wasn't able to do the boss because it's literally broken for me.